Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're in New York, you know, as, as you know, and uh, so I thought I'd do a little update, what's going on, things like that, let you know how things are going, things like that. So anyway, uh, oh, there's a couple things on the channel, of course, too, you know. Um, number one, which I'll put in here uh, uh, for the... Um, updates uh, for the playlist uh, naming the playlist uh, for the ghost artifacts and stuff uh, we got lots of good names on there lots of good suggestions there's still time to enter if you want uh, entry closes Sunday at noon so uh, go ahead if you still got some entries or some names you you could suggest for the playlist um, make sure to get them in there so uh, that's that part of it as you can see we got lots of suggestions for the new playlist coming up which is really cool thank you everybody still time to enter uh, next Sunday coming up on the 17th is the deadline uh, you can still get your entries in until then and the winners of course like on the thumbnail get a patch uh, there's going to be three chosen and they get a patch and the actual winner gets a little something special uh, that's a secret so anyway uh, just to show you there are lots of uh, lots of good names in here so if you got one put it in there um, got a few really cool places uh, coming up uh, one that's really gonna be really neat uh, coming up uh, real soon it'll be on the channel you guys uh, I'm sure you guys will uh, enjoy that one um, coming up so what do I think about the trip so far well there's two or three negatives, but everything else is great. Um, and it's not really got nothing to do with New York half of it, you know. Uh, mainly transferring planes, okay, it's, it's a nightmare. Uh, that, that's crazy shit right there. That's, that's some messed up crap, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway, uh, so there was that, which I wasn't too happy about because I was very stressed out and nervous, you know. Um, not used to that and all those people. You know, uh, the airport here, the people at the airport, and apparently it wasn't a busy day. So, I would not want to see a busy day. But anyway, apparently it wasn't a busy day. And there was more people in the damn airport than in my whole town. So, was that, just to give you an idea, I'm not used to that. Um, driving is insane. But there is one, one thing that's cool here. Apparently, as you're driving, man, road rage... It's the responsibility of the passenger uh, to have the road rage so the driver can still focus on the, on the road. Um, so that's, that's interesting. I'm going to see if we can introduce that um, back home uh, because that's pretty cool. Um, no, no, I'm just teasing. Uh, yeah, so the roads are, uh, I don't like, uh, I'm better now, like I'm getting better at it. It's, um, I'm not as nervous for the most part, um, but it is, it is uh, very busy, you know which I'm not used to. And there's, it's just, the town's just too damn big for my liking, you know. But, you know, she's been sweet to me and not taking me to the actual metropolises. Metropolises? Yeah, because I'd go insane. So she's she's making sure to protect me uh, from that. So thank God for that. And that's it, that's it for the negatives. There's no, no other negatives. Um, just basically, town's way too big for my my uh, what I'm used to uh, but otherwise uh, everything's good um, now some of the good things is I am really 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 enjoying spending time with Christina doing stuff with her um, it's a blessing to be with her so I'm like oh you know I'm really really happy with that um, I can't I can't stress how nice it is um, just to you know be in the same space it's just wonderful um, and Jonathan he's a really good lad I really like that boy um, and he's funny too and he likes good music so you know we get along really good on that on that front too uh, but Jonathan you know she did a really good job raising him up he's a real uh, gentleman and uh, um, you know very polite so yeah I, I'm really impressed with that um, being a single parent myself, I know there's lots of lots of rough spots. She did a damn good job. 
So anyway, hats off for that. Um, and the places we've been investigating are awesome. I'm really having a blast in investigating. Apparently though, uh, we can't go anywhere without me getting lost. So you'll see on, on every episode. Uh, apparently, I got lost again. Uh, I don't know what happened. But I was heading back to the car early because, you know, I walked three miles there and I had to walk back and they still want to investigate and I want them to investigate, you know. Uh, but <clears throat> I was too tired, so I said, well, I'm going to start heading back because otherwise, by the time we get done and we head back, it's going to take us another hour to walk back, you know, whatever. So I headed back. And, of course, when I got there, they were there waiting for me, uh, wondering where the hell I went to, right? Thing is, we came back on the same trail. Uh, honest to God, same trail. I sat on certain rocks and did certain things. And they, when they went by, they filmed the only two places I was sitting. So I don't know why I didn't see them or they didn't see me. But anyway, they passed me. And uh, but I eventually got there. And uh, so yeah, so she was like, "What the hell?" You know. So I don't, I don't know what happened there. That was really funny. Uh, so we gotta check that out. Make sure to watch Christy and the Sons Ghost Squad to see uh, what happened at Camp Harrow. Awesome stuff happened there. It was great uh, cinema. You're going to enjoy it. Um, but yeah. So we got a couple more places we're going to check out. I'm not sure what we're going to do. But yeah. We got some more investigations coming up. So stay tuned. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Oh wait, P.S. <laughs> P.S. Emergency update. Uh, weather update. Uh, emergency update. Everybody's been asking on both our channels how I'm doing with the weather. It sucks monkey balls. Okay, no to it. Like a hermaphrodite monkey in a tree would fall out and pass out on top of a naked buffalo hot. Okay, too hot. Uh, by about 20 degrees. It's way too hot. Uh, but otherwise it's good. Except it's, it's blistering hot. And um, even today, it's not bad. It's 78, you know, two more degrees, I'm going to stay in the shade, and, and that's it. 80 o'clock, I go inside, and, and it's too hot. But otherwise, it's good. Okay, bye.